Hi, welcome to our channel. Israel launches new submarine with secret missiles. The Israeli Navy has launched a new submarine equipped with advanced missiles. Named the INS Dracon, the new underwater vehicle is the latest variant of the Dolphin 2 class submarine operated by Jerusalem. Compared to its predecessors, the new submarine is significantly longer, featuring air independent power and two large missile silos. According to a report by Naval News, developers increased the size of the vehicle to support more functions including a hangar for underwater drones or rescue submarines. The exact nature of the missile fitted into the new submarine remains unknown. However, some speculate that it's a ballistic missile with a guided final stage due to the long missile tubes in the hull. The INS Dracon has but torpedo tubes for nuclear armored cruise missiles and a vertical launch tube. Such features would allow the submarine to accommodate two sets of missiles, conventional and nuclear. It would allow the vessel to conduct land attack missions as well as maintain nuclear deterrence. INS Dracon is an Israeli Dolphin 2 class submarine. The submarine was built in Kiel, Germany, although unconfirmed by either the German or Israeli government. Rumor has it that the Dracon will be longer than previous bots for its class and may have new weapon capabilities, including a vertical launch system. Illustrations released by the Tyson Group Marine System, the prime contractor, show an enlarged sail and distinctly changed hull form. TKMS went on to describe the Dakar as a completely new design, which is to be specifically engineered to fulfill the operational requirements of the Israeli Navy. The boat was reported to have been taken out of the water but relaunched again in August 2023. With the relaunch photographs confirms a much larger sail which may accommodate its vertical launch missile silos if these are indeed fit the vessel according to analysis conducted by Matus Smutny the sail could also contain a special release compartment for unmanned underwater vehicles aerial drones and other special operation and intelligent gathering equipment. The revised cell could also be related to some kind of proof of concept for technology to be used in the upcoming Dakar class. The boat was originally planned to be named Dakar after a vessel that mysteriously sunk in 1968 with all of its crew on board. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe.